Dear students, in this era of technological revolution and with a great boom in the field of information technology, knowledge of computers becomes very essential for students. Keeping this in mind and with a view to spreading computer literacy among our very young students, we are pleased to start Introduction to Computers. So dear students, now we are going to learn the first lesson of Introduction to Computers and today's topic is functions and parts of a computer. First, we will see the definition of computer. A computer is an electronic machine which is made up of devices used for input, processing, storage and output. Functions of a computer. Now, we will see the functions of a computer. The main functions of a computer are input, processing and storage and output. Now, let's understand what these terms mean to understand the terms input processing and output let's take an example of flour mill in a flour mill food grains are put into the big funnel at the top and they are slowly crushed in the grinder the flour comes out of the opening at the bottom in this entire procedure food grains are input the action of grinding the food grains into flour is processing and the flour is output in computer terminology, input, processing and output can be classified as input, program, processing and output. Input Data entered into a computer is called input. It could be numbers, letters, pictures or even sounds. Program A set of logical instructions given to a computer to perform a task or work on the data is called program. Processing When the computer works on data according to instructions, it is called processing. Output Information generated by processing data is called output. It is displayed by the monitor or printed by a printer. So dear students, this means that computer processes input data with the help of program to generate information, it means output. Parts of a computer Dear students, now we will see the parts of a computer. A computer is made up of input devices, processing unit and output devices. In the example of a floor mill, food grains are put into the funnel. Hence, the funnel is input device. The grinder grinds the food grains into floor. Hence, the grinder is processing unit. And the opening from where the floor comes out is output device. In a computer, the keyboard and mouse are used to enter data and instructions into the computer, hence they are input devices. The central processing unit, CPU as the name suggests, is the processing unit. It processes data according to instruction and generates information. The CPU also stores processed data, which you can retrieve whenever you want. Thus. The CPU processes and stores data, programs and information. The monitor displays the output, it means information generated by the CPU. If you want, you can print the output with the help of a printer. Hence, the monitor and printer are output devices. So dear students, in this video, we have learned about functions and parts of a computer. In next video, we will see in detail the parts of a computer.